Hey guys, what up? This is part 2 of the custom PC build and in this video we'll be taking a further look inside the components that we'll be going into my custom PC. So let's start off with the DVD burner drive here. This is a Sony uh, DVD drive right here. And as you can see the front of it is painted white for a nice color contrast between the flat black case. Um, next, in the uh, PC component list here we have the fan which is a Cooler Master 120 millimeter case fan which does have blue LEDs and is powered by the 3 pin power adapter and I will be connecting this to the motherboard itself so I could get a uh, controlled fan speed and next on the list here let me ground myself I have the Western Digital Caviar Drive I think this is a Caviar Blue Drive, I'm not 100% sure, this is a 320 gigabyte hard drive and right here we do have the SATA cable itself. Next on the parts list, sorry about the car noise, we have the Asus ATI Radeon HD 5450 graphics card. This is a, a 1 gigabyte DDR3 graphics card I think, I'm not 100% sure. Um, this does work by PCI Express X16 2.0 or 2.1 and on the rear here you can see we have DVI, HDMI and VGA and the uh, brackets have been painted white for the nice color contrast in between the case and the components themselves next on the list here we have the motherboard which is a ASUS PSG CMX1333 actually it's a P5JC sorry and um, here is the rear I.O. as you can see flip it around here and um, this is a Intel 775 socket uh, motherboard so it is a bit more older we have the stock uh, Intel CPU right here we'll be upgrading to that and here I have two gigs of DR2 RAM I know this is a really outdated system but it's enough for me to get away with my everyday computing needs and under there we have a dual core Intel CPU clocked at around 2.6 gigahertz I think and I will be overclocking that and next on the list here we have the power supply which I will get and this is a 500 watt or 480 watt to be more specific power supply with some really ghetto cable sleeving I know what you're thinking <laughs> So that's pretty much it for this video guys, in the next video I will be assembling all these uh, PC components into my computer itself. So I'll see you guys all in part 3 of the custom PC build. Peace.